This is James Holder for iFilm London. I'm in Duke's gym today in Crystal Palace for the Leon McKenzie Media Day. With me, I have none other than Leon McKenzie himself. What's happening, sir? What's going on, Jay? You all right? I'm all right, Cause you? Good, mate. Good, good. A bit tired. Um, yeah, run, run this morning. And uh, so that was like the last little bit this afternoon. So, but it has to be done. You're living your dream, man. You've gone from being an ex-pro footballer, playing, scoring over 100 goals, to now training to have your pro debut as a fighter. Talk to me a little bit through that. It's it's overwhelming in itself because it's always been a, a passion of mine to, to jump in the ring. Never knew if it was going to ever happen, to be honest. Um, football was my life and, um, you know, I put my, my all into that. And uh, playing at the top level, doing the best I could in that career was, was fantastic. Yeah. To actually get the opportunity to come in and box professionally, uh, for me, is like it's just overwhelming in itself um, and it's an achievement. Your dad made his pro debut at York Hall many, many years ago. I think it was 1981, yeah. if my mind serves me right. Yeah. You're going to be making your pro debut in the same boxing venue, the mecca of boxing, which is your call. Yeah. How does that feel? It's a fantastic, it's a brilliant event, and it? It's, York Hall is, is the famous place where it all happens, you know, and um, from there's a sentimental, um, you know, feeling involved because my dad's made his pro professional debut there. Um, so as a, as a family, as a whole, it's, it's really, we're, we're excited about it all. But yeah, again, to me to jump in the ring as a professional, yeah, it really means a lot to me. And um, again, I'm not, I'm not taking this like it's a joke or I'm not taking anything lightly. I've been training really hard for a number of months now. And um, hopefully people can respect, um, you know, my ability to box and not just be able to just get in the ring and, and um, have a go sort of thing. How much of today, what, what you and your dad have done, or should I say you and your coach have done today, would be some of your normal routine? Would, was you going through the motions a little bit today, just, just for the benefit of us? To be perfectly honest, um, Duke is my main trainer. Um, yeah, my grandma was, uh, had to be taken into hospital today. That's the reason for why he's not here. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, but um, uh, other than that, um, that's the first time I've probably done pads with my dad in, in a good year or so. Um, Duke has been doing my pad work and everything, so we w it was a little bit different. Um, but my dad's a former British and European champion. Um, it's it's great to get the balance of the two. Um, Duke is working on my, my technical defensive area more so as a boxer to make it more complete. And my dad will will make me fight a little bit, um, so we get with the be I get the best of both worlds. And uh, that was something in there where it was a lot of loading up. Um, but at the same time, sometimes it, that's needed in, in fights and, you know, I have to appreciate that. He's a great coach, your dad. I remember being about nine years old, being in the Half Moon pub in Brixton, him doing some pad work with me and, and helping me. I remember you coming in in your Crystal Palace tracksuit. I was thinking, this geezer's the man, do you know what I mean? So from, to go back from that journey now to where we are now, it's, it's a nice progression, you know? Yeah, I mean, again, it all goes back to sort of childhood, really. Um, you know, there's an element of, of being grounded in there and, you know, being humble. And um, I appreciate everything that, that's, you know, come to me in that respect. Um, I had a fantastic football career um, and I've got some great people around me, you know, um, even like leading up to this fight, family-wise, um, I couldn't ask for anything better. And um, I'm just really looking forward to stepping in that ring. Your dad was a European British champion, your uncle three times world champion. Do you feel pressure carrying the name and now going into the pro, ring, mm. pro ranks? No, there's, there's not no pressure in, in that respect because I'm never going to achieve what they did. Um, I, I'm a realist at the end of the day. Um, um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm 35 and th I'd have to box pr uh, quite a long time to, to reach their levels. You have to be fast-tracked very quickly. Yeah, exactly. And, um, you know, again, have you have to be a realist in this sport. Um, for me to, to jump in and, and take each fight as it comes, I can only guide it by, by that. Um, my hope is to win something. I'm not too sure what that will be, but I, I, I'm confident that I'll, I'll win something. That was going to be my next question. It's quite f might be a tough question to answer. How far at 35 do you think you can go now in in this boxing path, Leon? I really couldn't really couldn't tell you. It's really just taking um, each fight a as they come. Um, we've got a few, you know, we've got eyes on a few things, but it all depends out how you know each fight goes opponent-wise. I mean, I could. I could win the first, you know, the first few uh, quite comfortably, and then you know you step up in class, and then that's when the tests start. So um, only I can be tested um, as, as as I step up in class. But I, f I feel that for what it is, I've got like again great pedigree behind me, and I feel like 
I'll, I'll, I will be all right. I'll, I'll, I'll give anyone a good fight. So you talk to me a little bit about the date and the show, just so that I from London viewers know what's going on, etc. Yeah, um, obviously the 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 show is a Steve Goodwin uh, promotion. It's at the York Hall uh, on the 29th of June next month. Uh, please come and support me. Um, if you're a football fan, even more so, come and support me. If you're a boxing fan, then uh, you know it, I'd love the support as well, and, and I'd love to gain your respect by watching me perform and win on the night. I recently read your autobiography. As I said, I know I've got to know you a little bit as a person here and there, in, in little time, little pieces at a time. Having read your book, I thought I got to know you a lot more. So I'm, I'm, open, I'm hoping you can add a couple of new chapters to it and. Yeah, you know? I hope so, you know, Jay. Um, again, that, that autobiography I did, My Fight With Life, was a very meaningful and real book. Um, it, you know, my whole life's in it. Um, but I, I really broke it down and um, tried to make people uh, look at, um, you know, the whole sort of sport and depression angle from, from a different sort of well, way. It's very brave of you to put that book out there and to, yeah. to be as honest and as frank as you was, you know? Mm. Well, it's the only way for me uh, to move forward. Um, you know, you get good days and you get bad days, but I do feel that um, there's a lot of people that do face uh, issues with depression and it's, it's very ser serious illness. And, um, you know, I, I hope and, and pray for anyone that uh, really is going through that sort of struggle. But for me, it's really about showing them that you, you can move on in life. And, and even for me to, to have another dream to step into the ring, you know, that just shows them that, you know, one dream can end and another can come true. Um, it, it, it can get better it can get better so whoever I, I, whoever is struggling out there like please keep believing and and you know if you ain't read my book please read it because I, I feel that it does help you yeah, yeah. I, I felt i found it very insightful and as i said it it helped me a little bit you know so yeah. no i'm glad it helped you um it, that's that's the main thing that's why you know it wasn't really to uh boast about cars and yeah. and you know the the kind of stereotype thing that is um, portrayed on footballers. It was just really to break it down in a real, real, uh, you know, element. Listen, Leon, I want to thank you for your time. I know there's more media here that want to speak to you. And normally when I say that, I'm trying to cut an interview off because I've run out of questions. That's not the case. There is loads of people here to talk to Leon and stuff. And I just thank him for giving us a no, bit of his time. And, you know, time, man. I can't wait near the, near the fight. We'd, we'd do this again. And again, I've got a lot of time for you guys. You're doing fantastic in the boxing world. You're out there, so uh, you know your time's my time. So, any time, mate. No, well listen, my regards to your family, Thanks. and well done to your dad and that, and Duke for having us down today. And I look forward to seeing you in action real soon. Top man, top man, bless. This is James Holder with Leon McKenzie for I Film London. I Film London. I Film London. I go, I go,